This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only ape father in the house, baby, up all night. Wow! So, when I first got into this play, you know, uh, back in June of uh, 2021, I actually had respect for Lou back then. You know, I was he was one of the reasons I got into the play. I mean, the Lou, the Lou of, of today is a much different Lou than he was of uh, May of, of 2021. So, you know, Lou is just a very positive, optimistic guy with AMC, making all these claims that, you know, he's getting secret tips, secret connections. Uh, the true price of AMC in the dark pools are like 4000 5000 10000 a share. Completely different person than who he is today. Now, the last video he just made, he's, bla he's blatantly telling you, saying, I want to get involved in different place, Okay. And if you watch all of the videos he made, you know, the first video, which was the other day, saying that some ape contacted him who had 30,000 shares of AMC, saying that he doesn't really believe it's going to do anything. He wants to start selling. Lou was an advocate. Like, did you watch that video? Lou's like, hey, man, it's your money. You don't apologize to nobody. If you want to sell AMC, you go right ahead. Now he's making a video saying, I never told anyone to sell AMC. He's a hypocrite. This is, listen to the video he, he, that he made a couple of days ago. He blatantly says the following. I'm quoting it. He goes, listen, man, you know, there's money to be made here, you know, and if you got to sell your AMC, it's, okay, he's not actually telling you to, say, to sell your AMC, but in other words, he's saying if you do it, he's cool with it. He's okay with it. I'm not cool with it. Okay, the A father is not cool with it. The only reason why you should sell your AMC is for two reasons. Emergency, okay, could be a medical emergency. It could be something, whatever. Bills, you know, your mortgage, your house, you know, you have to feed your children. You have to feed your family. Man, you got to do what you got to do. You got to sell because family, health always comes first. You can't put a stock first. I don't want to keep repeating it, but I told you. There was this guy who said to me one time that his children were starving for four days. They're not eating. And he was, he was, he was actually proud of it. He said, hey, father, that's how much conviction that I have an AMC. I am not selling my AMC. And I'm going to make my kids starve. And I'm like, nah, man, I sent the guy, I swear to you, I sent the guy $300. Okay. And I said, sell your AMC and feed your, feed your children. You lunatic. Okay. So, but if you're financially sound, meaning you have enough money to eat, you have enough money to live, you have enough money to pay your bills, and you're just selling AMC because you're listening to this friggin' buffoon, Uncle Festa, who's talking about other plays, and, you know, he, listen, he, he just said it in his last video. He's like, I'm, listen, I got something to tell all your apes that's going to break your heart. I'm not a part of this movement. I'm here to make money. The guy is a friggin' shill. The guy is as fake as, as you could be. I mean, listen... I don't know. I can't. I don't even want to even make any more of these videos. This is the last one. I'm going to go on to other subjects after this. If you can't see the con man that Lou is, then what could I tell you? Sell your AMC. Go jump into his plays. Remember Clove? <laughs> Remember Clove? Do you know how many apes contacted me? They sold their AMC because they were listening to this Mama Luke Lou, this Stu Not Lou. And uh, they said, hey, father, I just lost like all my money or in some cases a lot of their money. And they were not able to buy back into uh, AMC. Ask American Dream. American Dream, same thing happened to him. He listened to Lou. He sold his AMC. He admitted it to me. And he bought Clove. There's so many apes I can, I can mention that did that. So many apes that did that. Okay, so, you know, you want to do it again? <laughs> That's your prerogative. What can I tell you? All right. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. So at the end of the day, don't listen to me because I'm an entertainer. But you got to do what's best for you. That's it. You got, like I said, don't let anyone talk you out of your dreams. Don't let anyone talk you out of what you feel in your heart is right. But I will tell you this, loose track record is not so bright. <laughs> the guy has been wrong about everything. Everything. That's it. Okay, look. Let's let's go by, let's go by piece by piece. Clove wrong. Now the thing with Sundown, I do like Sundown, but the thing is, we all have to face the facts that they're in a possibility to be delisted. You have to be at at least one dollar a share. And last I checked, it was like fifty two cents. 
Okay, and if a long enough period of time goes by, they could get delisted. So you're taking a risk. I'm just letting you know. See, I'm the type of a person, this is the way I look at it. Hold your AMC, don't sell it. Hold your GameStop, don't sell it. You got a couple of extra fuzzles on the side, got a couple extra hundred, throw it in Sundial if you want, or throw it in other plays. But why are you going to sell AMC and GameStop that have the potential to be the biggest mother of all short squeezes in history? You, you all know the facts. I don't have to tell you what's going on. You know what's happening, okay, with the corruption, the manipulation, the fake synthetic shares, the naked shorting. I'm not going to waste your time. I know you know all of this already. So you're going to sell AMC? Don't you understand this is what the hedge funds want? They're trying to exhaust us. They're trying to get us to a point where, you know, we give up, all right? And then we jump into, look, I saw it happen so many times already. I saw it happen even with that support.com. You know, it, it did rip, it did rip support.com, but then a lot of apes sold their AMC, jumped into that, and they took a major beating, okay? I've seen this happen so many times. I've seen it happen with DWOC, okay? You know, when DWOC took its gigantic run all the way up to 175 bucks, a lot of apes sold their AMC, jumped into DWOC and took a major beating, okay? So listen, regardless of what these haters say about the ape father, the only time I sold AMC was one single time. I had a family emergency, I needed $15,000. I, I, I have bought back those shares. I sold, this was like three, maybe three months ago, and that was it. If my wife needed my help, I had to come through for my wife. I don't care what anyone says, it doesn't make a difference. My family comes first, okay? But I was kind enough to explain that, okay? And basically, here's the bottom line, okay? Long story short, I rebought the shares, now I'm buying GameStop as well. All right, that's that's what I'm doing. And you know what? I have nothing against, and I said it from, from the beginning, if I have a couple of extra bucks and I want to dabble in other things, I might. But, but for me, I'll never sell my AMC. And I will never, ever be an advocate of selling AMC or GameStop unless it's an absolute emergency. So once again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm an entertainer. Okay, thank you very much. AMC and GameStop to Pluto. Wow!